Hello everyone, today I've got a super sick war recap for you guys. We had a war against the clan with 200 wins and as you can see we won by one star in the last second. So you can see, this is the stats by the way, we had one more 3 star and this is the clan, 200 wins and by the way barking is my dog as usual. So the main crazy thing was that we had only 4 Town Hall 10s, this is our last Town Hall 10 and the rest are Town Hall 9s and they had 6 Town Hall 10s and, and I'm gonna show you those extra Town Hall 10s just so you can see what they look like, so that's like Max Defense's Town Hall 10 and that's an extra, that, that's match what with our Town Hall 9 and this is another one, it's Max Defenses Town Hall 9 with Max Heroes and level 3 Inferno. So that's something a Town Hall 9 will have really hard trouble taking. So I tried 3 starring this base and and it failed because because of the Archer Queen ability. So I can show you I'm gonna show you the fail at, at the end of the video if you wanna see it. So that's basically it. We won by one star, and I'm gonna show you what happens. What happened in the last moments of this war? So you can see the war log over here of the last hour of the war, and I wrote the scores after each attack. So you can see over here that one hour to the end of war, we were down by five stars, and it was actually six stars because if you look at this attack by Chris, that added another star. So that makes it 41, I just didn't have a space to write that. So we were down by 6 stars, something like 1.5 hours before the end of war. And then the drama just started. So Chris went on number 12 and got an extra 1 star. And then Nathan, that I asked him to attack number 20. He's, he said that he want to go for 12 since it was open as well. He, he felt better with going at number 12 and we decided letting him do that and let's see his attack. So this is the base he attacked. He, he had go lava already cooked and probably needed only small troop changes on this one so this one is a pretty good for a go lava attack since you can take from the upper part two air defenses and and the queen and probably that air sweeper as well and then just go behind the second air sweeper so just some wall breakers through the wall and then a jump spell will get you right into that air sweeper location so there's a lava hound in the clan castle and after the update many people put a lava hound in the clan castle and it's really annoying it's it's really hard dealing with a lava hound because it makes your queen get stuck on it while the fences are shooting at her and in many cases the queen will die without reaching its goals so the air sweeper is going down, second air defense is gonna go down as well. He's he's dropping his lava attack early before that air defense going down. So timing was perfect over here. And this air defense barely does any damage to the balloons, maybe one or two shots before it's it's getting down. So that's first shot, second shot, that's all. And he can take out the rest of the base, spread those balloons very nicely. Second air defense is down as well. There's a lava on the last air defense and there are enough balloons to take it out right now. x is down and right now there are no defenses left. Let's make it faster so you can see it's a 3 star and we can keep seeing that drama. So Queen is still alive. Great attack over here by Nathan. Let's go to the rest of the attacks. So after that, their number 6, that's a Town Hall 10, goes at our Town Hall 9 and fails his attack. So we were really happy when that happened. After that, Danny goes at, at their number 16. Let's see that attack as well. So that's gonna be a logo wipe attack. Chris planned this whole attack for her. 
after he he made the fail he knew exactly how to get this base and he planned this attack for her she she panicked a bit in the beginning because she couldn't drop the barber king and accidentally used the queen ability very early so notice now that she uses the queen ability totally outside the base so this this attack could go even better but she still got the three star so clan castle balloons are gonna go down jump spell is dropped it's gonna be a two jump spell attack And the queen, and now the king is dropped as well when the area is clear. They're gonna go to the air defenses. First air defense is going down, and second air defense is gonna go down by the hogs. Notice that there's a spring trap that, that gets two of the hogs. She was supposed to drop three, three hogs at each of the defenses, but somehow they came out kinda together at one, at one defense, and that allowed that spring trap to work. So all the air defenses are down and now she releases the back end balloons to get the, the rest of the defenses. Usually you don't want to release balloons at cannons and stuff like that, only at whiz towers and arch towers, but it didn't really matter on this one. She got the 3 star, all of the defenses are going down now and pretty much cleaning is left only. So great attack over here, a bit panic but she got it and that's what it, what's important so balloons and wizards are gonna clean that base and that's another three star that added another two star to our score so next was the most surprising thing in in the attack our town hall 10 failed on a town hall 9 and i'm gonna show this attack as well so he remembers that forever. So we expected a 3 star on this one. We left this base untouched. Especially for a Town Hall 10 to attack. But this guy got a Town Hall 9 account as well. And he got he, he got the, he got us the 3 star eventually. With his last attack he got a 3 star on the Town Hall 9. So he got us the 3 star. So he kind of fixed the problem that this this attack did so I didn't watch it yet but that's the first time I'm watching it so it's gonna be interesting seeing what what exactly failed on this one so dragon comes out he uses the poison spell and I think that the, the walking queen is what ruined it it was the queen was supposed to to go in but the Queen AI, honestly, the Queen AI became worse than before the update. She just, she just likes walking outside the base so many times and it really ruins many of the attacks. It ruined my attack on number 5. I could really two star that base and the Queen totally ruined it. I'm gonna show you that at the end of the video and it's just crazy. Also at the end of the video I'm gonna do the cards giveaway. I'm gonna give away $20, one Google Play USA card for $10 and one and one card for iTunes USA and you're gonna see the winners. So the ones that can participate in such giveaways are only guys that join the bindle chat. If you don't know about it, it's a chat where we're helping each other with the attacks, helping each other improve their bases and also and most important, you will get featured with your attacks on my channel using that chat. So if you got interesting attack, join the chat and show me what you, what you've done. So this was the Town Hall 10 fail. Basically the queen went went away and let that dragon kill all the troops. So I guess it's I guess it's not really his fault on this one because I don't know what you do with this queen. So their number one decided going at our number seventeen. Although number seven, our number seven, you can see it over here, was untouched. So they decided that their number tw tw twenty will go will go with a go wipe attack on number seven. But this guy decided going from the other side and failed got only one star instead of two star 
so I think that if their number one would go for our number seven for the three stars, it would be a tie 50 50. So they wouldn't win it, but it would be a tie. And I think that this was their major mistake in this battle. So let's see what happens next. So they went with their number one on number 17, got an extra star. Then Diego attacked number 10, got only, got only one star. Unfortunately, a two star could definitely help help us, but it's really stressful. It's seven minutes to the end of war. You can see the timer over here. Seven minutes until end of war. All of that, all of that happened. It was really crazy. You can get a heart attack. So in the last second, we decided that that Haitian is gonna go for number nine, since since our Town Hall 10 failed on it and got only one star. We decided changing the tactics and three minutes to go. I asked Haitian to jam a whole go wipe army. He already had Golava ready for a scout attack. And I asked him to, to jam a whole army in a second and do go wipe attack on number nine. We, we had the plan for him. We made a plan for him like in one minute told him exactly what to jam and he done a great attack almost three starred this base with only level 10 archer queen and level 12 barber king so that was amazing I don't wanna imagine what's gonna happen when he's gonna have like level 20 heroes he's gonna be a badass that's for sure so this simple go wipe Logo wipe to be to be accurate. I wanted him to to drop some balloons on those lower arch towers so he can use minions and archers to get those lower buildings for the two star. But he didn't really need that because he got like eighty six percent on this one. So heal and rage were dropped maybe a bit early. I I don't think that this healed much, but there he goes, gets the town hall, it's 32% now. King and Queen are, are still alive, almost with full health, and he's going through that base, dropping those balloons at the bottom, and now some minions for the cleanup, and those 50% are are very easy to get on this on this attack. So we thought it's gonna be much harder to do that. He even got a P.E.K.K.A running around the base. And I thought it's gonna be much harder to get 50%. I was really worried that, that he's not gonna get it. And that's why I asked him to bring some balloons and minions for the bottom buildings. But he done it amazingly. I'm gonna make it faster because it's not a free star eventually. Some kind of cleaning, but he almost got the whole base with those mini heroes and that's really amazing so poison spell was not used at all that golem is bashing through the wall and let's see the rest of the attacks so great job over here really helped us with an extra star so they're, they're number 20 after the war already ended he got only one star and not the two star so as I said, that was the main mistake of this clan. And then Kalyan, that's the same guy as number four over here with his, with his Town Hall 9 account. He goes in the last second. You can see what's written over here. Last moment, those two attacks were after the war ended. They started before the war ended, but ended after the war ended. And we're gonna see his awesome free star. He he also jammed all those troops in the last second, I think. I'm not sure. Gotta ask him, but I think that he jammed all those hero all, all those troops as well and then done some badass surgical gohog attack on this beast, which got us an extra two star and a win. If he would get ju just one star, I, I ask him to go from the town hall area. To make sure that he secures the two star because if this war would end up with a tie it would be like a win for us because they really had a big town hall 10 advantage that's four more attacks from 
Town Hall 10s on Town Hall 9s and in such a war, in such a close war, it's a huge advantage. So I asked him to secure the 2 star, so he got the Town Hall now and he starts the Hogs before he gets the enemy queen. He's sure he's gonna get this enemy queen right now when, when she starts shooting at his queen and last second drop on that queen and he got it so hogs are going in there heal giants are dropped to take some damage and notice those great heal spells they're dropped exactly where it needs them between those wiz towers and that base doesn't stand a chance against such an attack so this was amazing attack. Everyone were stressed as hell. We didn't know what's happening. I missed, I missed the replay. I was watching Haitian's attack and I missed the replay and didn't see this one. So it was going crazy on the chat. And people were saying he got it, he ain't got it time and, and stuff like that. And when you're not seeing it, it's, it's just crazy. You don't know what happens. So. There is one minute left on this attack and no defenses left, cleaning only and he's getting the, this 3 star in the last second. So amazing war, amazing win. I want to thank our guys for putting all of the effort for this war, not giving up before it and really great attack, great war. Again reminding you, it was a clan with 200 wins and Town Hall 10 advantage. Also, their Town Hall 9s were heavier, but but that's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see my fail. It was our, our first attack. I tried kind of disabling their their Town Hall 10 advantage, but that kind of sucked. That you're gonna see that that the queen goes into a bad place. So I've seen. I think it was a guy from the Black Lodge doing this kind of attack, pretty much this kind of attack against this kind of base. So hogs are dropped with heal and rage at each side and four hogs from the left getting those those defenses. So right now I totally cleared the path to the town hall and all I need to deal is with that lava hound. So I'm gonna wait with a poison spell for the pops. And now I'm gonna drop some witches and wizard. I'm not dropping my queen yet because that lava hound most likely will, will start chasing skeletons and who knows where those skeletons are gonna go. The lava hound is gonna chase them and it's gonna be bad if I release the queen because she's gonna chase that lava hound and might not go exactly where I want her to go. So I didn't release her and only after I funneled the way, I'm gonna re release the queen because I wanted her to go to the town hall. So I'm gonna stop this attack for a second to see what I wanted to happen. So notice that she's gonna take down this gold storage. Let let's see that happening first. So she's gonna take down that gold storage and then I expected her to go at the town hall but she decided going for that dark dark elixir drill but that's no big deal I knew that she's gonna go back for the town hall but notice now the stupid thing that happened. So the town hall is the closest building from the entrance. When she's gonna enter from here the town hall is gonna be the closest building so she was supposed to, to go here stand over here and it's gonna be away from the barber king range the the king range is gonna be something like this but instead of that that dumbass and sorry for the wall decided going here and although the air defense is closest she, she decided going there and shooting at the town hall so i really don't understand that that totally ruined my attack that was one of the things that ruined my attack the hero ai so she went right into the king area and he got her and notice in the upper part over here you will notice that instead of going to those buildings and keep shielding for some minions the stupid king decided 
bashing at this wall without without any reason. I don't know what's going on with the AI. Supercell totally ruined it and it totally messed up my attack. So notice that the king just left all the buildings and started going at the wall without any reason and queen failed of course because a level 35 king was was getting her and that was really annoying I, I expected that the king is gonna shield a bit more for the minions so I'm gonna get the 50% as well and I failed with a 40, with a 47% so really annoying it, it I'm sure that with the previous AI it would work because I've seen it working I've seen people doing this kind of attack as, exactly on this base and it worked they got the 50% and yeah it was it was really annoying it, it could really help us and save Tower Hall 10 attacks on this base so yeah that's basically it i hope you like it i'm gonna do the giveaway video now and you will see the winners so like subscribe and comment and enjoy the giveaways and of course jo join the bundle chat if you got a text to show if you want to get featured on the channel help others get help yourself with base with attacks and stuff like that there are details in the bottom of the video so let's see the giveaway I'm gonna do another giveaway. I've got a $10 iTunes card and another $10 Google Play cards, both both for USA. So I'm gonna do the giveaway. This time I'm gonna do it a bit more, let's say, fair. And I'm gonna tell you how I'm going to do that. So as you can see, we already got after two days 382 people on Bindle. If you don't know what it is, it's my chat on an app called Bindle. And the whole idea of this one is that you you're gonna share your attack plan and, and your basis and get help from the community from my viewers in this case and also I'm online sometimes as well helping as well but that's not the main goal the main goal of this one if you don't if you don't already know is featuring you guys on my channel so if you got attacks to share if you attacked a max defenses base in Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10 and you 3 star that and you want to share it just let me know all you gotta do is post a photo of the first second of the attack so I can see the base and see the troops that you used and then I might come to, to your clan and record that attack and it's gonna appear on my channel so yeah you can see the chat here so we got 383 members over here you can see all the members over here and what I'm gonna do is go to this website which generates a letter and what I'm gonna do is click let's say five times from now to choose a first letter and then another five times to choose a second letter and then we'll go to the member list and check if there's someone that start starts with those letters and if it's only one then he's gonna win a card and if not then we will keep generating until we meet the first letter so let's click on it five times so that's one two three four five so O is the first letter so let's click another five one two three four five OF so let's go to the member list and see if we have O and F why it went up no idea I don't know what happened so let's try it again maybe I clicked on the members yeah so we're looking for O and then F. So let's keep going down. And hopefully we got a winner without doing that again. Come on, we need to get to the letter O. Okay, so we're at O and we don't have an F so we're gonna do it again so that's gonna be C N or or Z after N we're gonna have to do that again so C N or Z that's gonna be the next one so I'm gonna start generating and whenever we see C N or Z 
we stop. Well, that was fast. So the first one is C. So the first winner is where is it? O C O C H O C H I. That's that's the name. That's the winner. You're gonna get a Google Play card or an iTunes card. I ho hope that the first two winners are not gonna be are not gonna be both iTunes or Google Play, or I'm gonna have to randomly choose between Windows two. So O C H I is the first winner, and let's get our second winner. So let's do it five times again. So one, two, three, four, five. R is the letter, and let's do it five more times. One, two, three, four, five. So R P. Let's see if we got someone with R P. So R is before S. R P R P R P. Do we have an R P? Nope, we don't have an RP. So let's do it five more times and pick another letter after R. One, two, three, four, five. R N. Let's see if we have R N. Nope. No R N as well. Let's do it five more times. One, two, three, four, five. R W. I have a feeling we don't have that as well. No, so. One, two, three, four, five. RF. Do we have an RF? Yes, we do. So R Fran Sen CF is the second winner of a card. So hopefully both winners are not using the same device. Hopefully one of them is using an iPhone and the second one is using an Android. And those are the winners. We'll have to solve it somehow. If that's not the case, but it's gonna be fine, and that's it.